Good evening now. We begin tonight in Casey as city leaders are trying to do something about the opioid crisis, creating a new position aimed at drug prevention and education. News 19's Nate Stanley joins us live in studio tonight with the details of what's going on. Nate. JR, the position received unanimous support from the City of Casey uh, Council earlier today, and I'm told they're looking for someone with medical experience, possibly EMS, or someone with experience treating mental health. We want to try to get rid of the, the opioid crisis. Uh, that we have here in South Carolina. That's Casey Fire Department Chief Stephen Buller talking about his vision for a brand new position coming to the city. In Wednesday's city council meeting, his agency received approval for a new position he calls the Community Risk Reduction Manager. So this is going to be a position that's going to provide public outreach and education in the community on the effects of opioids and other drugs. He says the new position is being funded from the South Carolina Opioid Recovery Fund with money from the South Carolina Opioid Litigation Settlement that provides millions of dollars from opioid production companies. Yeah, they, they sent out notification last year that this money was be, going to be available to every um, city, county uh, in the state. Um, and we had a certain time to apply and, and, and we, we took the steps to apply. Opioid overdoses are something his staff sees on a regular basis. He says throughout the year, the city experiences an average of between one and two overdoses per week. He spoke about the daily responsibilities for this new role. They'll be out in schools, out in the community, uh, doing all kinds of uh, outreach. Uh, they'll also be working with state and other local partners, um, for, such as like Department of Mental Health um, and other, other resources. The decision is receiving support from the community too. Matt Carroll lives in Casey. Uh, it's one of those things like ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, right? So if we could stop someone from ever reaching the point where they would use opioids or other substances, um, then I think that's, you know, worth its weight in gold. Buller tells me the plan is to begin the search after the city's budget is approved, so likely July 1st will be the official start of their search. Reporting in studio, Nate Stanley, News 19, WLTX.